in this given figure, we are given a point uh, P, which is an exterior point on the tangent. From where two tangents, that is, uh, this is PT and PS are drawn to the circle with center given as O, such that angle, we are given an angle that is the measure of this angle, SPT. This is SPT. This angle is given as 120 degree. Now, what do we know that uh, line joining the center to the exterior point of the tangent bisects the angle between the tangents. So I can write this angle as 60 degree. And so will be this. This is 60 degree. Now we have to obtain the relation of OP. OP is, is this. This is OP. We have to obtain the relation between two sides and the sides. As I can see, the sides here is one is OP and the other is PS. This is the other line is PS. This one is PS. Now further what we know that radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact. So this angle is 90 degree. Now we will be using the concept of trigonometry here in this triangle and the triangle uh, taken is, is this one. This is the triangle. Now considering the triangle and the angles here, what we can observe that we know this angle and therefore this is the radius here. The radius will act as a perpendicular and the side opposite to 90 degree is hypotenuse. So we have OP as the hypotenuse and OS is what the, although it's a radius over here, but uh, for triangle property, it is a perpendicular. Now we have to obtain a, re a relation between hypotenuse and perpendicular. So clearly we will be taking sine. So sine 60 is perpendicular over hypotenuse. Perpendicular is OS and hypotenuse is, uh, we need this as perpendicular and PS, sorry, we have to obtain a relation with PS and PS is what? PS is the base here. Now considering this angle, PS is the base here, not OS. So we don't need a relation between OS. Let's once again observe it. We don't need OS. We need instead PS. One more time. OP. OP is clearly the hypotenuse and PS. PS is the base. So we need a trigonometric ratio that gives the relation between hypotenuse and base. So either it will be cos or sec. So if I apply cos, so cos 60 is equal to base over hypotenuse. The base is PS and hypotenuse is OP. Now replacing cos 60, whose value is half, is equal to PS over OP. By cross multiplication, OP is equal to 2 times PS. We'll say this is how what we had to prove.